Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus giving you another full game gameplay. Um, and actually, this is Mutt Drafts, um, a Draft Champions gameplay. Um, I actually had an old roster um, that I, I never really capitalized on. It was actually uh, the previous season, and they renewed the season. So uh, one of the things I want to point out to you guys is that uh, basically, this guy's team was stacked compared to mine. I'll show you the roster at the end of the game, but uh, he had a significantly better team. I couldn't show you the cards prior to doing this because I, I, I hit the record button a little bit late, but you'll see my user players not playing as clean as his players, uh, primarily because uh, he just had a better team. So uh, I had to pretty much out scheme this guy to go ahead and, and, and pick up a victory. So he comes out of the pitch right here. And basically, he uh, got, got a nice little uh, run where he picked up four yards. It should have been for less, uh, but he got some pretty good blocking. And right here, he throws the ball up. I get a nice swat animation to go and knock that down. He had two wide receivers in the area, so that wasn't that great. But I come with the blitz. He throws right at me. I have another defender that actually cleans that up. So I think he no huddled. So basically what I did is I brought down. I actually went with a, a massive blitz. I didn't set it up correctly because it got picked up. And he throws right once again at my, at my defender, gets away, gets some front of the ball gets the leverage and actually picks up the first down so first and ten situation I'm going with the one uh, the the, uh, the the dime you know one four a six to play out to play I think it switched off he takes off this quarterback no huddles and right here I'm trying to go ahead and slide my defenders over to try to give him the same type of a look and I get on McCoy I pull off because I wanted to play coverage he takes off this quarterback so the guy had enough common sense to go ahead no huddle uh, take advantage of uh, basically me not sending a blitz after him so right here I jump into a man blitz um, in this type of situation and he actually gets a nice hole right up the middle with his offensive line to get the ball down um, to uh, the uh, second and four type of situation down on the 13 yard line so he's no huddle me he's catching me in the right defense and uh, basically he makes a good dot r I think right here he sees a guy crossing over the middle of the field and he's able to go ahead and capitalize and go up by a score so I'm on offense I'm rolling with the Jets offense I actually s switched out of this offense I was doing some Patreon work um, so um, I had to kind of find the office of offense that I was using before try a little um, jet sweep right there he actually cleans it up perfectly the guy completely anticipated it go into the tight end bunch formation throw into uh, a defender my guy comes down with it. You're going to see my wide receivers catching some tough balls. You're going to see some wide receivers dropping wide open passes. And that was just one of the fluky things that you do when you, what happens a lot when you play draft champions is that you're going to you can force balls in uh, towards someone's user and sometimes you're not the, the user's really not going to pick pick you off a lot and you can get away it's like the, the the gameplay in draft champions is a little bit flukier so right here i got a wide receiver open on the right hand side and um a possession catch it right there i have a tendency to possession catch more than rack uh, primarily because i do want to get that possession so hit this guy up with a nice little dive uh get a nice little broken tackle by eckler and i'm able to go and fall forward for the first down so uh, first and ten situation back in a heavy set once again uh, I streak up my Graham as my as my tight end I think he's running because of the cover because of it he's running uh, man coverage I throw a ball right over him and able to go ahead and pick up a first down once again so get it down to the 18 yard line show the stretch off to the off offside I miss my hole I could if I cut it in the inside I probably would have picked up some more yards so second and eight situation I'm looking off to the left and looking to Cooper for the one-on-one -on -one. he gives me the back of his defender meeting his man coverage and Cooper does not hold onto the ball so right here third and nine situation go ahead and hit this guy right here he drops another ball so two drop passes right here in a situation where I, I need to get to basically tie the score so I settled for three points I figured okay this is the kind of situation where I need to go ahead and get points on the board I just can't let him do this so I jump into a different defense I typically don't run which is a is a nickel wide and actually, if you guys, if you follow a channel, his name, his name is uh, Madam Money Shot. Got a lot of subscribers. I've been following his channel for a long time. He, he really attests to this defense being one of his favorite defenses. So I jumped into it and see how effective it was against my opponent. Um, I wasn't running it exactly the right way. Uh, I should be spreading out my defensive line and my linebackers uh, and then trying to get the pressure that way. But what was cool about this particular defense the, the wide nine, the three, the three, four, five wide nine, is that my opponent struggled against it. So right here he gets a bad animation. He actually, I think he, he done a, a spin and he actually lost yardage on it. So third to 15 situation, 
I'm feeling pretty good right now. He actually no huddles. Uh, he doesn't move. The, he doesn't basically do this, and I get a nice little pressure off the edge. Take a timeout. Force him to punt the ball back to me. So go into the tight end bunch uh, formation. I'm looking off to the right and off to the left. I hit the, the tight end. Graham was catching some big balls for me. He's able to go ahead and get a nice little completion. So go into the big bunch again. I'm going to go ahead and try to go ahead and, and, and get this guy off to the left. Streak up my inside receiver. He does not cover him, so I just still go ahead and lob the ball up. And it's just not lobbed up enough. Uh, Cooper does not come down with it. Cooper was dropping balls for me all day. The only time I could actually hit anything with him is if he was doing a basic an out route off the edge, but otherwise he dropped everything the entire game. So to try to drop it down um, underneath with Brown, uh, get, a, uh, get a little tackle right here, go ahead and uh, basically uh, do a no huddle, third and six situation, looking to Brown in the corner. That's the area that I want to try to go. Uh, his defender actually plays it perfectly, knocks the ball out. That's one of the things is that this guy had a lot better players, and I'll show you the roster at the end of the game. So he's going to get more plays, more animation plays than I'm going to get because his players are just significantly better than my team. So uh, he actually goes ahead and gets the ball back right there. I'm going to go ahead and uh, smack him. 13 seconds left. Go ahead and dial up this blitz once again uh, against him. I should have been bringing down that du double team of the slot receiver. Uh, ba basically just chucks the ball up. My defender's right there. I get the ball. There's six seconds left on the clock. I'm going to go ahead and run to the sideline. I get a broken tackle right there. Three seconds left. Two and one. Roll out of bounds with 30, 30 yards away. And I'm able to go ahead and hit him with a big, uh, basically, field goal right there. So uh, down one point, feeling pretty good about the, about the situation. Got the ball coming back to me, so this is a really good situation to be getting the ball back. So go back to the heavy set, which is basically a three, three tight end set with a wide receiver. He's showing me man coverage, so I'm going to go and try to hit Waller uh, on the corner route. Uh, he actually covers it, but I'm still able to come down with it because Waller was a really good wide uh, good tight end for me. So this, this time I actually come around and actually hit him. Uh, with uh, with basically a shot off to right. I go back once again to the naked side. I'm able to go and hit it with Graham and pick up a first down. And now I jump into a different offense. This is essentially it's a, a China concept. He's playing so much man blitzes that I just just go ahead and use a lot of man breaks right here. So I've got two in routes. i got a streak. I've got a corner route. He falls back into coverage. Those two uh, streak in the corner. Clears out the zone. I'm able to go and get a, uh, get uh, eight yards off that. Try to run the ball off the edge. He gets a good block shed off my tackle to go ahead and, and get me. So a third and six situation. Um, I go ahead and do a quick out off the left hand side uh, because I got to get something going out of here. Man, man coverage basically blank uh, uh, free. You're able to go and get a first down with that easy completion with the quick out. You had the off coverage like that. So back to the running game again. Nice user tackle. Go and clean me up right there. I did not have a good stick move. Go into the bunch wide and get a nice little run, only a couple yards, but that's fine. I'm just shortening up the, the, the first down. A no huddle, third and seven type of situation, and I've got basically the little spot route by jo uh, Jones uh, off to the right. I'm going to go and throw it right there, and he holds onto the ball, but I come up a little bit short. Now, if I wrote a reactive, I get a first down, but I go ahead, and he's got seven guys in the box. I've got five blockers, and I do an inside zone. That was a worse play right here. That was a bad decision, a bonehead decision. Should have took the points, or at least went ahead and put myself in a situation where I I'd reset my offense, give him a little bit different look. So back to this 3-3-5 uh, three, three, wide type uh, offense right here. Get a nice little uh, stop of the run. I only think he picked up a yard right there. So no, actually no yardage at all. So show him the same type of look. Now going in the man blitz uh, right here. I've got a double team off that one tight end. Nobody on the running back. Uh, but if the running back goes out, the pressure is going to come screaming in. Got to spread off the, off the defensive line and the linebackers to make this, this play a little bit more effective. Probably should have brought down that one guy. I actually tried to make an adjustment with the slot uh, nickelback and actually put him into some kind of a coverage, but it didn't get, get it set up correctly. So right now, once again, it's third and four situation. He, he's he been struggling with this week of the defense, this uh, 35. Blitz the outside corner because he's not covering anybody, so I yeah, might as well just bring another blitzer in. And right here, he actually makes a good read, but he actually dives and does not get the first down. So fourth and inches situation. He goes in a completely heavy goal line formation. I don't get my defense set up, and he's able to go ahead and dive forward with the quarterback with the QB, uh, QB uh, taker right there. So jump into cover two. 
just to try to give him a different type of a look right here. Um, I don't think he's going to run the ball because he hasn't had a very effective running. Uh, Cubic contain just to kind of uh, just put some stuff out there. He actually does a nice little run, keeps cuts the ball inside, and he actually picks up a first down. So doing pretty good right there. Um, back again in the 3-3-5. I think I switched things up into a man coverage just to try to get uh, get him guessing right there. He actually throws right into a press coverage. My defensive back picks him off and takes it house to go up against my opponent. He's got a superior team, um, and that 3-3-5 was messing him up. Is messing up his reads. He didn't know what to do with the, the def uh, the, that defense, and he was actually trying to get rid of the ball. So nice little run to the outside. He's able to go ahead and get... Um, uh, some good yards right there. No huddles again because that's the thing that people do online. They don't. They, they can't reset their plays. They have to no huddle. Uh, so once again, I got pressure off the edge. He runs, takes his quarterback out, and right there I'm able to get some fast pressure against him. Now I jump into a 34 defense. I try to do some heavy pressure, and right there he actually hits a crossing route. I'm unable to get my defensive back down there to go and take that away or take that read. So back in the 34 odd, I don't know why I got it at the 335. He was struggling with the 335. He was getting himself in a lot of fourth down situations. And now I go into 34 and actually uh, he's he's carving me up. So jump back into 335 because he doesn't switch things out. Looking for some crossing routes. He throws it right to my user, which is Earl Thomas. And I'm going to go ahead and take off. He can't catch me with McCoy. And Earl Thomas is able to go house against him going up a final score. So... Only two minutes left in the game. Basically, the guy checks out after this. Uh, he he kind of bitch quits against me, and essentially just keeps rolling the clock off. But I want to show you uh, the difference in teams uh, on what this guy's team and how how much better his team was compared to mine. So went ahead, took a look at the teams, look at his. My quarterback's at 87 overall. His quarterback is 95. Halfback, 93. We've got basically 90, 90, 90 uh, is his wide receivers. Uh, his tight end, a 90, 90 overall offensive linemen. Uh, just stud players. His offensive line is stacked. Defensive line is pretty stacked. Look at that, 90, 94, 92, 93, 93, 90, uh, 74, 93, 90, 88, 8, 95, 90. So most of the starters are 90s. Take a look at my team right here. Um, basically, that's my best player right there is Earl Thomas at 92. Uh, let's take a look at some of my other players. QB, 87, uh, basically 90 for Eckler, 79, 88, 88, 85, 88. So this guy's team was stacked compared to his to, compared to my team. I did not have the players that he did, um, and he I was able to go and pick it up because the guy didn't have, he struggled against that Madden Money Shop defense, which is that 3-3-5 defense. So once again, my subscribers, thank you for support, guys. I really appreciate it. Wanted to go ahead and show you this gameplay. I'm going to be rolling out uh, some more gameplay and more tips. Until next time.